Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, five-sided uh, irregular polygon. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that its given side lengths are 6, 15, and 9 units. And moreover, these angles are 90 degree each, and this angle is 135 degrees and by the way such kind of a polygon is called an irregular pentagon now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, polygon a b c d e please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, the interior angles of this uh, polygon A, B, C, D, E. And we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees as well. And this angle is 135 degrees. So this is the only angle that we need to calculate. And now let's recall the interior angle sum formula. Interior sum equals to n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of polygon sides. Since we are dealing with the pentagon, so n equals to 5 in our case. So therefore, I am going to replace this n by simply 5. So therefore, we can write 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So thus, if we simplify our interior angle sum, turns out to be a 540 degrees. So therefore, I wrote down these angles 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 135 degrees and then this plus unknown angle on the left hand side and it must be equal to the total angle sum is 540 degrees and if we simplify everything our unknown angle turns out to be 135 degrees so therefore this angle is 135 degrees once again we are dealing with this uh, tricky kind of problem so we're gonna think uh, outside the box so therefore let's go ahead and draw some uh, auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next diagram and now let's focus on uh, this uh, angle over here the whole uh, this straight angle is 180 degrees and we know that this angle is uh, 135 degrees so therefore this angle is going to be 45 degrees since the sum of these two angles equals to 180 degrees and likewise let's focus on this angle once again this angle straight angle is 180 degrees and this angle is 135 degrees so therefore this angle is going to be 45 degrees as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle f a e we know that this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 45 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well since the sum of these interior angle must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore we conclude uh, that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle equal to this angle so therefore this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length if this side length is six units uh, this side length is going to be six units uh, as well so therefore this side length f a turns out to be six uh, units therefore this whole length uh, f b is going to be some of these uh, two individual lengths uh, 6 plus 15 so that is going to be equal to 
21 units so therefore our this length uh, fb turns out to be 21 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, fbp we know in this triangle uh, this angle uh, is 90 degrees uh, this angle is 45 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well since the sum of all these angles must be 180 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle FBP is an isosceles triangle since uh, this angle equals to this angle that means this side length uh, must be equal to this uh, side length and we know that this side length is 21 units so therefore this side length is going to be 21 units as well so therefore uh, this side length uh, bp turns out to be 21 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, pdc and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this angle and this angle they are 45 degrees each and this is our 90 degree angle so therefore our this uh, side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length if this side length is 9 this has got to be 9 units as well so therefore our side length pd turns out to be 9 units as you can see over here and in this next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, polygon a b c d e and here's the strategy we're going to be using area of this uh, polygon a b c d is going to be equal to the area of uh, this uh, bigger triangle f p b minus the area of these uh, smaller triangle this one which is f a e and then minus uh, this uh, triangle uh, PDC as well and if I represent the area of this uh, big uh, triangle as uh, uppercase A and the area of this uh, smaller triangle FAE as a uh, A sub 1 that means this is A sub 1 minus the area of this uh, PDC smaller triangle I'm going to call the area A sub 1 so this area is a sub 2 so therefore the area of this polygon a b c d is going to be a minus a sub 1 minus a sub 2 and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big triangle uh, f p b now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time uh, base time height and in our case uh, our base is uh, 21 and our height is 21 units as well so therefore the area of this uh, triangle FPB is going to be I'm going to represent it with the uh, uppercase A equals to a half times 21 times 21 as well so therefore this area A turns out to be 200 and 20.5 square units and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this smaller triangle f a e and uh, once again we're going to be using uh, this uh, formula of the triangle and in our case our base is 6 and our height is 6 units as well so therefore the area of this triangle f a e i'm going to represent it by a sub 1 is going to be a half time base is 6 and height is 6 units as well if we simplify everything a sub 1 turns out to be 18 square units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, smaller triangle pdc and uh, we are going to be using this uh, triangle formula as well and in our case our height is 9 and our base is 9 units as well so therefore the area of this triangle pdc i'm going to represent it by a sub 
2 is going to be a half times 9 times 9. And if we simplify everything, our a sub 2 is going to be 40.5 square units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this polygon A, B, C, D, where our this A value is uh, this one, A sub 1 value is this, and finally A sub 2 value is uh, this one. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So therefore, I'm going to just put down 220.5. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, this turns out to be 162 square units. So thus the area of this polygon turns out to be 162 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.